welcome to first oracle enterprise pack for eclipse here i'm going to tell you about how to install it how to use it so this is our first tutorial i'm going to explain how, where you're going to get the download so here you go to the blog wlst by examples in this blog you can find the link at the bottom then go to the oracle site you have two options for downloading so here you can choose uh, oracle eclipse oracle eclipse uh, whenever you are downloading you have to accept the terms and conditions then go for the download option the do download options are there helios and you have galileo here I'm selecting Helios Eclipse. Once it is downloaded, it is a zip format and uh, you need to unzip. You can use any unzip software to unzip it. So here I'm using this one for Windows Vista operating system. Now I'm going to extract this uh, Oracle zip file after extracting uh, here I'm using that 7-zip software for unzip once it is extracted in this folder you have everything uh, related to the development Java and uh, web logic related components plugins everything ready to use including Python Jython support it supports every package module uh, which is required for developing the scripts for python scripts in jython as well as wlst scripts so you can make any any of the scripts and you can test any one of them so once everything is extracted your eclipse is ready to use so when you are having a trouble uh, if you don't have JDK then you will be having such problem so now I'm going for installing the JDK here I have uh, the latest version JDK JDK 1.6.0 underscore 23 this is the latest version available on the Oracle site so I have downloaded this and then installed for Windows Vista you can choose as per your environment your operating system so once you are downloaded java jdk then go for the installation of jdk extracting it simply it will extract and it will install in the program files by default that is the path where it is going to install suppose you want to change the uh, path of the java or jre you can change it as per your convenient folder locations so normally in your development environments or in uh, in your personal system you might having other jdk's you want to use a specific jdk then you can go for specifying the jdk folder once it is uh, done then you, it is going to install the JDK so everything goes fine then you will get like this uh, JDK is installed and everything fine you have Eclipse installed you have JDK installed now we have to go for web logic installation so the latest version weblogic oracle 10.3.4 this is the latest version I have downloaded from the oracle site I am going to use a generic jar installation uh, let me try for jdk 1.6 yeah, here I am going to use uh, uh, generic installation jar installation so whenever I am using this one uh, uh, that is extracting the jar file then it is going to use the jar file and uh, it is going to ask few options suppose you want to go for the standard installation then uh, you just go on clicking next next 
if you want to customize it you have to customize you have to ch select uh, customization option yeah basically from weblogic 10 onwards it is asking the email address and it is uh, asking this for providing the uh, support service and as well as security updates patches updates uh, if you don't want then you can skip here I'm going to skip that one I don't need uh, any updates at this moment so I'm choosing yes and yes I don't want I'm just bypassing the this option going forward here then uh, I'm choosing the customize option custom option is going to give the option to deselect some of the components which you don't want from the uh, regular typical installation so in regular typical installation it is going to have weblogic and as well as weblogic coherence as a built-in bundle you are having so here I'm deselecting the weblogic coherence uh, which I don't want to use at this moment okay go ahead and click on the next okay then you need to choose the JDK where is the JDK you have on your system you have to specify the path then you are going to have uh, the Eclipse ready to use or your web logic is ready to use JDK okay so you you are choosing Sun JDK Oracle JDK now uh, you can choose JRocket also if you want yeah here you go the latest JDK we have selected then you have to click done yeah you are done that's fine it is having been lib everything yeah okay done JDK is specified it is going forward it is going to finish the installation of Oracle WebLogic this is a WebLogic 11G latest version this is having awesome features which you could use in your WLST web logic scripting tool most of the beautiful performance options we have in this we have uh, several wonderful features so once it is done it is going to show the congratulations you have uh, done wonderful installation so that's how you are going to finish everything ready for WLST on OEP so in the next tutorial we are going to use how to use the WLST in OEP